Welcome back to my craft room. Today I want to show you three ways to convert any font into a drawing font for Cricut Design Space. For the first method, we'll need to convert the font into an outline. So right click, then click on Create Outline. Right click again and ungroup. The blending method will not work unless there is an opening at the beginning and at the end. and then go to Object, Blend, Blend Options, and you'll want to have these settings. Make sure the path is released by right-clicking and clicking Release Compound Path. If it doesn't blend, this might be a reason why. So now you can go back to Object, Blend, and Make. You should see a center line. For a letter like the letter R, you need to break it apart. I drew a line through the letter and then I went to Pathfinder Divide. Then I ungrouped it and deleted any anchor points or lines that might make it uneven. Once you have an opening and an ending, you can go to Object, Blend and Make and you should have a center line. Now do the same on cursive letters. Once you have all the letters, you want to go ahead and go to Object, Expand. If you have any kind of odd lines, you can change them now. I'm going to change the center line to a different color so you can see this better, but eventually you're gonna want to delete the outer lines. So when they're cursive letters, I like to connect them. I'm using a pen tool to connect them and tweaking some of the lines so that they're a little bit smoother. For the second method, I'm just gonna copy and paste the outer line and change the line so that it's meeting in the center. And again, I'm just gonna fast forward through this. It's, um, it's a little bit tedious, so you kind of get the idea. The third method is to change the letter to gray and lock the layer. Create a new layer using the pencil tool, trace the letters, and you wanna get as close to the center of the letter as possible, but you don't have to be precise because you can go ahead and tweak this later on. Using the white selection tool, um, you can move the anchor points around and you can adjust the curves of these lines just to get it to where you want it to go. And this seems a little bit faster than the other two methods for me. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with Calligrapher, but this is a good way to create your own drawing fonts for Cricut Design Space, especially if you like to use the same font over and over again. If you'd like me to make a tutorial on creating your own fonts, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. So here's a tip. If you wanna see how the font will look once you draw it with Cricut Design Space, locate the Calligrapher brush and test it out. However, I would make a copy of the font before using this brush or else when you save it as a SVG file, it will turn back into a bubble letter. So I'm tweaking the brush, so um, I'm putting it at two points and I'm adjusting the angle to see which angle I like best. And this will also help me once I put the pen inside the machine um, and I can tweak the angle of the brush, um, of the marker. First, save this as an AI file, and then remove all of the fonts that haven't been broken up into an outline, then save as an SVG file. The reason for saving the file without any fonts is so that you don't get any errors when you're importing it into Cricut Design Space. In Cricut Design Space, I have both the single line font in blue and the calligraphy font in red, and you can see how it bubbles the letters if you leave the brush on when you save the file. I drew the font with two markers. 
um, with the flat marker, I changed the angle so you can see how it alters the look of the font. I encourage you guys to try these methods out and have fun. I would love to see what you guys come up with and which method worked best for you. You can leave it in the comments section below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I'm still trying to figure out when is the best time to upload. And next month I'll be coming out with some Halloween tutorials, so don't miss out on those. So that concludes this week's tutorial, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Until next time, bye!